Hey guys, how is it going? We are working on the lower for the TPI today. Um, the plenum came out pretty good, pretty happy with it, but the lower is where the gains really need to be made. Um, it's important to note that you really won't make too big a difference with this until you swap your heads out. Um, stock heads and 083 castings are something like 180, 190 CFM. Um, the factory TPI intake, I think, is like, put it in the description down below, uh, and I'll link the video that to a guy that did a lot of tests on this stuff as well. But the strategy we're going for is just kind of porting this, this thing out and making it essentially a shorter runner. And I'll show you how we're doing that. So one thing that I do to make life a little easier on me these long runners to so take a flashlight and throw it in the other end of the pipe the whole bore port whatever you want to call it so what that'll do is you can see it's kind of lit up now and I actually can watch what I'm doing instead of just kind of guessing but I'm gonna vacuum this out really quickly and get the shavings out that I do have so there's a curve on this wall here and on the opposing wall on this side. You can really see it on this side. So here and here. If we reduce the lengths here inside of the pipe, you know, talking like this wall right here, that will effectively give us a shorter runner length, hopefully giving us some more RPM, as well as opening it up. Let's flip this thing around so you guys can see what we end up with. You'll see they're open all the way to the edge. On these ones, they've got quite a bit of lip here. On the ones we've modified, they uh, they don't have that lip. <laughs> so that's basically all we're doing here. It's just kind of smoothing this out, getting rid of that bend if we can. You see how curved this actually is here versus how straight this is. And that's what we're after is shortening this runner length just a hair and maybe giving it some, uh, some extra RPM to give us a little more power. So after a whole bunch of work and a whole bunch of time, this is what we end up with. Fairly open ports here, real nice and clean, fairly straight. And this should give us, I mean, an extra 20, 30 CFM if we do it. So it's quite a bit of horsepower gain if you can use that extra CFM anyway. But, you know, that's counting this plus the runners plus the plenum getting only that much gain. The TPI is a limited thing. Uh, it, it doesn't do high RPM well. So after all this, if you're looking for something that's gonna give you an extra 45 horsepower or more possibly, the Holly Stealth Ram, which can be checked out in the link down below, um, that's like 500 bucks and gets you pretty far in making quite a bit more power than the TPI. But I, I like the TPI for the torquiness, so that's why we're doing it this one for the Camaro. But if you guys like what you're seeing, please like, please subscribe, have a good one, and I will see you on the road.